Hi there. In the previous video we created the index.html page and page2.html. Let's create two more simple HTML pages. page3.html and page4.html. Now let's go to the folder with our website. And let's create another folder that we'll just call folder. Now let's go to Sublime and create a new file. Save it in the folder and save it as page3.html. Now let's copy the structure from page2.html, change the title to page3, as well as this also to page3. Let's check it. Now you see we have this page. Let's do the same to create page 4. This time though, we will create another folder inside the folder. Let's just call it subfolder. Now, let's go to Sublime. Once again, file, then new file, and save it in the subfolder this time. And call it page4.html. Copy the structure from page 3, but change the title to page 4, and change h1 to page 4 as well. Save it, open in the browser, and here we have it. Ok, so now we have the following file structure. We got index.html, page2.html, then the folder, inside of which we have page3.html, and then also subfolder with page4.html. Let's link all these pages with the main page. We'll start by creating a link on the main page to page 3 and page 4. We'll add these links right under the link to page 2. So in the index.html file, let's create two more p tags. And in each of these, we'll have an a tag. As the text for this one, we will write, go to page 3. And for this one, we'll write, go to page 4. Ok, so now let's think about what we need to write for the href. In our last video, when we were linking to page 2, the file was on the same level right next to it, so we just had to write the name of the file. But now, the file is in the folder. So in href, first, we need to write the name of the folder, a slash to enter it, and then the name of the file. So, folder, slash, page3.html. Let's see if that works. Here we got three links. Go to page 3. Amazing! Page 3 it is. Alright, now we need to link to page 4. Pretty much the same thing, except it's one level lower. So to get to page 4, we need to enter one more folder on the way down, which is the subfolder. So we write folder, slash subfolder, slash, and then the name of the file, page4.html. Ok, so for href, we just write folder, slash, subfolder, slash, page4.html. Let's check it. Go to page 4, and there we have it. Ok, so now let's create links from these files back to index.html. Let's start with page 3. We already have the link. The only problem is the path is incorrect. As you see, file was not found. So we got to edit the href path a little bit. What do we need to write for it? Once again, it's the same logic. We were going down, and now we're going up. To go one level higher, you just need to write two dots and a slash, and now we're inside the site folder, 
So we can just select index.html at this point. So let's write that in href. Two dots slash index.html. Save and refresh. Now try to click it. And we're back to the home page. Now let's do the same for page 4. Once again, we have the link, but it doesn't work. So this time, we need to get out of two folders. So two dots, slash, then again two dots, slash, and then just index.html. So let's write that for href. Save and check it out. Click on back to a home page. And it works. So this doesn't just work for HTML files. It's the same format for any kind of other files. Images, audio files and so forth. The only thing you need to remember is that you're always writing the path relative to the file that you're writing from. Excellent. Now you know how relative links work. See you in our next video.